Steve, finishes Absolute United 1, Dartford 0. Give us your assessment of the game. Um, I thought it was a good game. Good game to participate in. Um, I thought we were the better side, as in the chances we've had. We've had. You know, Robbo should score first half. Um, and you've got Heidi's chance. And you've got Connor's chance with a header. And you've got Dan Roberts' chance. I just think we had the clear-cut chances. Um, they looked pleasing on the eye. You know, they're good on, good on the ball. And rotations are good. The movement's good. They've got good energy. They're full-time outfit. They've got good energy. But we didn't deserve to lose that football match. So did we, though. Like, I mean, the last 20, 25 minutes of the first half, we knocked the ball around brilliantly. One or two touch stuff and, and created good openings. Oh, yeah, we created chances. But when you think we only train for two hours a week, three hours a week, it, it, sh- it showed for me in... in not the pace, but the athleticism to get around the pitch. And we defended brilliantly. We changed the shape and I thought every to a man, they, they were fantastic. And the only real time they cut us open is when they scored, really. And that was disappointing, really disappointing to 85th minute to, to, look, to lose the game. Yeah, it was an absolute credit to, to Connor, Ronnie and Tom, who were out, really outstanding back there that, that we did concede. Yeah, because they've got two, two good forwards, two good pairings, you know, um, that... You know, a handful, but they got dealt with. Anything that was, they could throw at us, the three of them dealt with them today. And they stood up like men and, and defended properly. So it's a sick enough to lose the goal we did in the 85th minute or 6th minute or whatever it was to to lose that when we, we didn't deserve to. And obviously good chance, good chance in the second half as well. Dan Roberts fired over the bar, Tyreek High bent one wide as well. Yeah, and Connor was the best chance at yeah. the back post, three, four yards out, heads it over the bar. He's got full contact on it. So I think, you know, they got, they got their points. I don't think they deserved them, but they did. They got their points and you know, we have to wait for the rematch now. Yeah, obviously big crowd today, big, big, big support behind that goal. I mean, they, 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 even though we'd, we've not got the points today. They, yeah, I, listen, the fans, the crowds can see when you try. Yeah. They know we didn't deserve to lose the football match and they clapped the players off at the end of the day. If you give that kind of commitment, the fans will accept that, accept losing, and they gave everything. And you could see at the end of the game, they're out on their feet. You know, three or four of them laying on the uh, on the grass. So listen, it's, it's, it's a one 0 defeat. We've got to go again. Simple as that. Just a little update. Obviously, just yeah, just give the fans a little update on that uh, on Danny Lennon. Not in, obviously not in the squad today. And Danny Lennon's got COVID, so he'll be fit. He'll be out of thing in a day's time. So he, even if he wasn't, he wouldn't have been out of play today because he's got no energy. So um, he's got to take a week in training and build that back up ready for Saturday. So that's, that's it, really. Yeah, obviously, you mentioned about the games coming, coming thick and fast. We, we go back to Prince's Park. I mean, it's, it's four home games now in a row, including the, the Weymouth FA Trophy game. Time to get back, back at home because we, we, yeah. we've been good there. Yeah, listen, we haven't lost at home um, this season. So it'd be nice to try and get some points on the ball. But again, look at the games we've got. Epsley, Dulwich, Weymouth. It's 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 unforgiving division, like I said. And you know, we get we're not getting some of the rubs of the green at the moment and we deserve a bit more. But listen, it ain't through the want of trying and like I said, the guys give everything today and deserve so definitely something from the match. Yeah, definitely, because we're still completely in and around it. I mean, mm. we don't we don't often get beat. No, it's just listen, it's it's, it's one defeat, it's one nil. Yeah. We've lost three league games, one nil, one nil, one nil. Yeah. yeah. You know, what do you want me to say? It's yeah. it's, it's, it's it's what it is. And yeah. We've got no divine right to be absolute. Why have you? Full time football club, home, doing ever so well. So, you know, the games there's nothing between these games and that's what I said, all these teams. You know, would, would we have look, looked at Welling beating Dulles today? No, we wouldn't have. Would we have looked at St Albans losing today at home? I don't think we would have. So there's, there's more twists and turns every show. I said it the other day. It's not changing weekly, it's changing gamely. So. See, thank you, mate. Cheers, mate.